Clemson 27, Syracuse 21. Clemson was down 21 to 10 at one point in this ballgame and found a way to come back. Um, I just, I, it blew my mind. Blew my mind in this. Uh, I wrote down here, the refs were questionable at best. DJ, you got pulled for club, Nick, after two turnovers, one of which led directly to a, uh, a touchdown um, because it was returned. It was a fumble that was returned for like 90-some-odd yards for a touchdown. And, yeah, I mean, brutal. Absolutely brutal. Uh, <laughs> Humphrey jumps in. Is TCU number one yet? Uh, they're getting pretty close. They're getting close. We're going to talk about them in just a minute. Klubnik had two interceptions. He was not great. Uh, if you look at his... Um, here, let's go and pull it up on the screen. Why not? You look at what Klubnik did. Two out of four passing, 19 yards. Um, oh, no, sorry. He did not have... Uh, a, I wrote this down wrong. DJ had two interceptions and a fumble. Uh, just overall, not a great day. Not, not a great day. Um and what I, what I was curious about is this. Sean Tucker had five carries for 54 yards. How If if this dude is averaging 10.8 yards per carry, why are you running Garrett Schrader 21 times? I just, I, I could not figure that out. Schrader only passed the ball 26 times. Uh, Clemson, as far as total plays, ran 85 plays to only 54 for Syracuse. Just nuts. Uh, Humphrey jumps in. He said Syracuse choked it with that penalty on the quarterback hit out of bounds. Well, here's the deal. I I don't know that that should have been called a penalty. Like That was barely a tap, if that. And, and they call that. But at the other end, on the next drive, if I'm not mistaken, their quarterback gets absolutely shoved out of bounds, and there's no call. So it was a little bit of home cooking, and you're going to get that. I mean, that's just a typical. So I I just it was it was a weird spot. Cheers to Syracuse for getting the cover for me, but it, Clemson absolutely could have lost this game. They uh they scored seventeen points in the fourth quarter to win this game, and at fourth and one uh, on that last drive, they had fourth and one and they they kicked a field goal to go up by six, and I get it, but also your defense has completely shut them out. Since the half, five plays, zero yards, four plays, 24 yards, three, seven, three, negative four, four for 15, three for negative seven. And then on the very last drive, seven plays, 45 yards in a minute, 18 and Schrader threw an interception. Just nuts. Uh, I, Larry jumps in. Was there, a, was there ever a year in the CFP where so many teams on a neutral field uh, could beat each other at least 10 times deep or 10 teams deep? No. No, I, I don't think so. This is the most competitive that we have had a college football field in a very long time. Uh, we'll talk about Alabama in a little bit, but I that team does not stand out to me. Ohio State, yes. Georgia, yes. Other than that, I, I think Michigan can still get got. I, this Clemson team looks fraudulent. Absolutely fraudulent. They found a way to win, and they it, don't get me wrong, Syracuse is a very good football team. But Syracuse ain't that good. Talent-wise, absolutely. Uh, Humphrey said, I agree it was a bad call because he tiptoed for like seven yards. It was still dumb because he knew it was the Clemson quarterback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like, <laughs> you know that you're going to get that right there. But also, he, you got to get the quarterback out of bounds at some point. Um, regardless, it is what it is with this team. Um, Syracuse has done amazing stuff this year. Robert and I, rarely do I question him. But when when Sean Tucker ha- is averaging 10 yards per carry, I feel like you got to find a way to get him the ball more, right? He, he had a long of 23, but had 54 total. So you had one for 23 and then four uh, for 31. That's still a really good average. How are you not getting Sean Tucker the ball more? Uh, they passed it to him five times for 18 yards. He did have one touchdown, but... Man, I just, it, it doesn't, I just don't understand why um, why Syracuse did some of the things that they did on offense. Uh, Humphrey said, if you want competitive, uh, see the Big 12. Yeah, 
Yes, absolutely. But you're also going to get that stuff in the Big 12. We just talked about Oklahoma State and Texas. Oklahoma State, zero penalties. Texas, 14 penalties. It just so happens to be in Stillwater. I mean, what are we talking about? <laughs> uh, that's the way it goes. Will Shipley had a massive day. 27 carries, 172 yards, and two touchdowns. Um, and that's, like, he was awesome. He had three catches for 17 yards on top of that. Uh, Cade, Cade Klubnick came in and ran six times for 15 yards. And DJ ran it eight times for 13. Uh, Phil Maffa, by the way, 18 carries, 94 yards, one touchdown. They were really good on the ground. I mean, just, they uh, they averaged 4.9 yards per rush. And honestly, like, you take away the quarterback stuff. Uh, uh, there we go, sack adjusted rush yards, 315. And averaged 5.4 yards per carry. Just nuts. So cheers to... Uh, Cheers to Syracuse for keeping this thing close. Cheers to Clemson for, I mean, effectively winning the ACC, I guess. Uh, I believe ESPN right now has an 86% chance that North Carolina and Clemson meet for the ACC title, <laughs> which is mind-blowing to me that North Carolina is going to be representing uh, their division in the ACC title game. I, that defense is so awful, and yet, I mean, everybody else is just running the mill. Uh, Humphrey said, great call by Dabo to switch quarterbacks. Uh, here's, okay, so let's, uh, let's talk about this. I meant to bring this up. DJ, I believe, is not going to be the quarterback at Clemson again next year. I, I just, I don't believe it because in this spot, and don't get me wrong, he had turned the ball over a lot. He was having a bad day. And Dabo did come out afterwards that DJ is still our starting quarterback. Like, we just had to have something else. It, you you don't have to have somebody else if you're that dude, right? Like, we see this over and over and over again, and I, I just I can't believe that he is going to stay there because he, he's not being, I don't think he's really being developed. Like, I think, he, obviously, he's played better this year so far. But I would have to imagine, and I, I put it out on Twitter yesterday, where does everybody think that DJU is going to play next year? And I believe that he's going to go to UCLA after DTR leaves. I think he can be developed by Chip Kelly. That it's home. Like I, that's my call on that. Um, but I, I don't think that you go to Cade Klubnik if you don't believe that Cade has more of it than DJ did, right? And the team absolutely responded when you put Cade in there. It's. It's not a good situation. Double O'Neal jumps in and said, go Tar Heels. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. That team, uh, it's still got some work to do. Some work to do. All right, moving right along. Oh, uh, by the way, looking at uh, at these numbers, the win probability jumped back and forth, back and forth on this. I, it was a back and forth game. It, this was a much tighter game than a lot of people believed that it was going to be. But cheers to Clemson. Getting it done. Getting it done. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.